B-21 Raider begins taxi tests, a key step before first flight. The U.S. Air Force's first pre-production B-21 Raider stealth bomber is now undergoing taxi tests, moving under its own power around the sprawling Plant 42 in Palmdale. It is the latest development milestone for the aircraft as it moves closer to first flight, which could come before the end of the year. I can confirm that the B-21 is conducting ground taxi activities. Rigorous testing is a critical step in the B-21 flight test program, an Air Force spokesman confirmed to the war zone today. Extensive testing evaluates systems, components, and functionality. This testing allows us to mitigate risk, optimize design, and improve operational effectiveness. This follows the B-21's manufacturer, Northrop Grumman, announcing the first engine test runs on the ground in September. This followed the first power-up of the Raiders' systems earlier this year. All of this testing has taken place at Northrop Grumman's facility at the Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. There are also five other B-21s in various stages of production there. The six pre-production aircraft are expected to form the core of a test force at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The next major milestone for the B-21 is likely to be its first flight the schedule for which has slipped several times over the years due to various problems, including the COVID-19 pandemic. The Air Force is now aiming to get the Raider into the air before the end of this year. We are still hopeful that we will have a first flight this year, Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall said in September, before immediately qualifying that statement. If I were to say that, I would be making a very specific prediction. And I never do that about an acquisition program for something that hasn't happened yet. Okay? The plan is for the first operational B-21s to enter service in the mid-2020s. The Raider will be a key component of America's nuclear deterrent triad for the foreseeable future. It will also be able to carry out conventional strikes and perform a host of other roles. The B-21 is also just one part of a larger and still highly classified long-range strike, LRS, family of systems, which you can read more about here. What we do know is that the LRS FOS includes the stealthy long range standoff, LRSO, nuclear armed cruise missile, which is currently undergoing very active flight testing. When the B 21 will take its next big step forward with its first flight remains to be seen, but we do know that it is now on the ground. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Defense Lab's YouTube channel for aviation and defense industry news and updates.